Four reasons all business owners should be socialists. Who wants to bet this stupid woman never ran a business in her life? Number one, lower... Oh, great. Another fake whiteboard video. Employee costs. If it has lower employee costs, why wouldn't they do it anyway? You don't think businesses are always looking for ways to get costs down? Universal health care and a graduated basic income means less money you spend on fringe benefits and more money you could spend on competitive wages. Oh, so lower wages are a good thing all of a sudden? Tell me something, princess! Where do you think all the money to pay for all this universal health care is going to come from? This is the problem with you socialists always pretending it's free. It's coming out of taxes. It's coming out of people's paychecks. So those workers are going to have to be taxed more to pay for it. Which means their take-home pay is going to be lower. You want businesses to pay them lower wages and have more tax money taken out of their paychecks to make their take-home pay even lower than that. Yeah, but you guys are friends of the workers, aren't you? Number two, better wages equal better employees. Competitive wages means less turnover and more productive employees, which translates to less stress and micromanaging for you. Well, if that's the case, then they'd automatically give them better wages, wouldn't they? Hey, maybe that's why less than 3% of American workers make the minimum wage, and most of them get paid more. Yeah, think? Talk about a self-defeating argument there. Number three, government programs. Government programs provide small businesses with the capital they need to grow. Lie, 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 lie. They always and universally favor big corporations over the small fry. Look, I know how you mealy-mouthed, entitled socialists are. You always want to pretend you're for the little guy when you're not. All of those regulations, all of the screws they put on businesses, are done at the behest of big corporations, because big corporations know that they're a lot better able to cover those costs than the small business. And whatever subsidies you're talking about, whether it's farm subsidies or whatever, the bulk of them always go to the big corporations. And how could it be any other way? How could they pay more to a smaller business? I mean, what's supposed to happen? Is some small business that only takes in a few thousand dollars a month supposed to get the bulk of the subsidies? You really think so? No. It's always based on the size of the business, even if it isn't directly, even if it's based on a portion of receipts or divided among the total number of businesses, because there are always a lot more small businesses than big. No, all of these things favor big business over small. You want to favor small businesses, you need a free market. And that's especially true of minorities or any other marginalized group. The ability to create your own business and compete directly with everyone else absent government interference is the best way to help them. These programs tend to be on the chopping block under more conservative administrations. Maybe they understand more about economics than you do. Number four, we're pretty much socialists already. Yeah, we've noticed. And yet you still keep blaming the free market for all our problems. Take the 2008 financial crisis, for example. The one that your precious government caused. We bailed out those companies because it was in the best welfare of our economy. No, they were bailed out because they were cronies. The best interest of our economy would have been in letting the market correct itself and in not having the screwed up incentive structure and the moral hazard that comes from bailing out losers. It's incentivizing failure, and it's something a free market would never do. Pure capitalists would have allowed those companies to fail. Just like they should have. In fact, pure capitalists don't believe in any type of regulation at all. But we understand that some regulation is necessary. You got any examples? Guess not. Entrepreneurship plus social welfare equals a perfect economy then why has it never, ever worked out that way? Why has social welfare always, 
always, always ruined an economy. Again, do I have to point to Venezuela? And don't give me any crap about how that's state capitalism. No one with more than two brain cells to knock together is falling for that. So, yeah, another reason why we're completely unimpressed with socialism. What's it gonna take, people? What's it gonna take until you actually start learning what you're talking about instead of spewing off easily debunked crap like this? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit like and subscribe? And to make sure I can keep producing content, support this channel by becoming a patron. And check out all the other great content here, like this video selected especially for you.